question here for me and such and such and be scented fragrance oil supply. I am making a soap, a custom soap cake. And um, I had a pick between several different scents. She didn't care. She said you could just make it girly. And it was for her and her daughter. So one of the scents she picked was Rainbow Sherbert. And it's a fantastic scent. And when I thought about it, and I thought about the cake, um, I was like, rainbow. And I was like, oh, I'm going to try my first rainbow. I've never made a rainbow soap. Um, so, I made these last night. They're rainbow little balls. Um... Not sure if you guys can see that. I need, I need some light. Hello. Sheesh. Alright. See my little rainbow balls? It has purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. Is the balls I made. And, um... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the base of my cake. Um, with the six colors, you know, layered up. And then I'm going to do a white piping. I want the piping at the top to be minimal because I want the focus of the soap to be on, um, the cake itself and the little rainbow toppers. So, with that being said, um... I'm going to leave the top unscented because I have pre-measured my fragrance out in the six different containers back here. See them all sitting? And um, I'm going to do it one layer at a time, scent it, color it, kind of um, move it along a little bit, pour it, and hopefully that it sets up for the next color. So I get clean lines, I'm hoping. We shall see. So I've got seven containers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven containers. One is for the topping. Six colors, my cream, my oats and my clay and my goat milk is in here already. <sighs> I've got my piping bag ready. I'm using the Wilton 1M tip and my titanium dioxide. I think I'm ready to go. I'm a bit nervous because I want this cake special. All my cakes that I make are special, you know. I want them to turn out how I envision. I did subtract a little bit of oil out of here to account for the colors because I have pre-mixed my colors because I don't want to have to really stick blend a whole lot or anything like that you know uh, so I have pre-mixed my colors here's my cream this may be a longer video um, considering you know what I want to do but um, how I did a lot of people's asked me how I did the soap balls because I posted them in the group. What I did is I took a small amount of, it's the melt and pour that I carry. Uh, I took a small amount of clear with just a little, well, like one little cube of white because I, I wanted, um, I wanted the colors to stand out a little bit more. Um, so I added just a little bit of white melted in the microwave for like 20 seconds. I use my, my mold is all dirty because I've not washed it. But this is the mold that I used. Uh, it's 7 8 inch ball mold that I carry on be scented. So I melted it for 20 seconds is all I did for. Added the color, mixed it up, and I used these little um, 
um, these little pipettes. Noah, stop. Thank you. I use these little pipettes to suck it up and you know, drop it into each little mold. I had to work really fast. Took me uh, about 45 minutes. I sprayed alcohol between the layers to make sure they would stick. I'm soaping room temperature. I actually did add a little bit more lye, or not lye, excuse me, error, a little bit more water. Uh, just so I could have a little bit of extra time. My recipe does tend to set up. So instead of my 13 ounces of water, uh, I have uh, 14 and a half ounces, which is not a huge more. I do a water discount anyways. Okay, so I'm going to get these over here out of the way of my stick blender. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it anymore. We'll keep it here just in case. And uh, this is first one here is going to be for my topping, and um. I don't want a lot. I think I'm going to do about two cups. I think I just want to do like one dollop on each cake. So that will be my topping. And then the rest is going to be divided up into these colors. I'm going to try to get the same amount in each one. We'll start out with one and a half cups. Mom? Yeah? Can you do some M&M's? Yeah, hold on just a minute, okay? Um... Did you already eat the M&M's? I got you. I don't want to go like this. And mommy, thank you for doing that. I clean maker it does not work. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to do about one cup. Mommy, thank you. You're welcome. But wrong way that I clean maker. It didn't make it. No, it didn't work, did it? Yeah. Mommy? Mm-hmm. Um, Zach Stepster guy, he, he calls soccer balls footballs. Because they kind of act like footballs. Mm-hmm. Oh. What's good, Zach? Have some, don't, have some fears up there. Take a hand. Mommy. Wait a minute. Mommy. 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 I'm some dog fish. 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 I
dad feet. Hey, Noah. <laughs> That's like deafening. Let's get these children some goldfish. No, no, no. Okay. Alright, let's see. Alright, first collar. It's going to be red. I want to end with purple. So. of me way because I need to make room for my cake over here all right first one fragrance I don't think I made enough red. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more. It's not that, quite as deep as I want. <clears throat> I did. I'm adding though. Austin oh. is—he's uh, not in here, buddy. Why? Well, I don't know. I do want to stick one this because I want Mommy. to move it along. What? And I'll walk. I'm just trying to stir down the bubbles. I'm gonna scrape this all out. Now, I don't know if this works, but, um, Katie on Royalty Soap says if you spritz the top with alcohol, it helps it set up. So, there's that. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to get some water to rinse my stick wonder. to our next color which shall be orange I may end up adding a little bit of white to this because this is a very vibrant orange I think I'm going to go ahead and add a little white
Mm. I actually think I need a little, I used just a tiny bit of color because this one was, it's such a vibrant orange. So I think I'm going to use just a little bit more. And then I may tone it down uh, with the white. Depends. Get our fragrance in this one. Drop that over there. Give this a little stick blend. Woo! Can't hold on to nothing. up my little mess I just made. It's just starting to set up, so I'm actually going to spoon this on. I'm hoping it does not break through. Slow and tedious. I don't know. I put it on this one. Did brother get it? I think. Hey, can I get another one? Yeah, hold on. Let me get this layer. Um. Hmm. Mom, you're working. I love you. What? I wish this house was made out of pop. Out of pop? Yes. Why? So I had drink pop. You're weird. I just want, I just want the inside made out of pop and the outside. Mm -hmm. I just want the house filled with pop. Oh. And the house made out of wood. I want pop, pop, so I need even in my room, so if I wake up in the morning, I go in there and you know, open my drink, and I go back to bed. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
No. Not right here at the soap. No. Yeah. Alright guys, there's that layer. Be right back. Oh. Okay. Uh, rinse this. Get the next color. Wipe this off. All right, next color will be yellow. Oh, I forgot to spray that with alcohol. Let's give that a little spritz. I don't know if that works, but you know, hey, we're shot. Fragrance. thing when I pre-mix colors I'm bad for not mixing enough <laughs> whoopsies I'm always like you know I don't want to mix too much I'm gonna give this a little stick blend. Just enough to mix that color in. Because my batter is one that sets up pretty fast. So I need to get a move on. I'm gonna try to pour this one slowly. Scrapey, scrapey. Give this a rinse. Pixie, will you leave that box alone? You're worse than the onions. Quit eating stuff. All right, spritz it with alcohol. Next color is green. Guys, I'm more than welcome to fast forward to the cutting. Haha. <laughs> Pixie, quit. Alright, fragrance. I have to talk to myself or I'll forget. Hi, Nubby. Hi, Nova. I need more green. Jeez and Luke Wade. Just 
telling you. I do no good pre-mixing the colors out. here. Hope that it's set up. I can pour this one. Pour really slow. I think I dipped down in there a little bit. dip down in there you know I'm trying oh well if I did Spray that with alcohol. Rinse this out. Fragrance. Turned out pretty good. All right, I'm debating. Um, um yeah.
darn it. I can't believe I think I went down in the yellow. I was doing so good. I'm making a royal mess. This one is smack down. We got one more layer and then I can breathe. Alcohol. Last layer, it is purple. I hope I mixed up enough. Starting to get nice and thick, but that's okay. I'm making do. And I don't think I mixed up enough purple. Darn it, Jim.
Okay. So what I'm going to do is take Just texturing the top very gently. Just like that. Gently, gently. Okay. Now Me rinse, clean my mess. We'll get our piping ready. I may have made too much piping. We'll see. I'll use it all. I'm always wiping it down. I can't help it. With little kids around, I always try to make sure I catch any splatters, anything like that. Okay. Now I'm going to pause you guys. Once this sets up enough to pipe, I shall bring you back. We are ready to pipe and I have to hurry. My hubby will be calling in like less than 10 minutes. So I wanna get this done. It has only taken me an hour to make this cake. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh well. Yes, sweetie. Austin. No. No. Let's see. Ow. Here. Oh. You're all right. I made too much piping so I'm going to kind of pipe it like my normal cakes
I'm loving how it's piping so well. I think adding just that little bit of extra water. Last one. the best balls <laughs> I'm sorry the ones I thought were looked the nicest and I'm gonna kind of put them on an angle so hopefully we can see all of the colors my hands are sweaty Okay, now we have to do glitter. And I'm gonna spritz it with alcohol first. Okay guys, I definitely will bring you back when I cut this. Good morning guys we're back to cut my cake and I could not wait and I went ahead and I unmolded it last night and cut it in half look at that I'm super excited it smells fantastic and I think my layers are gonna turn out better than I thought so let me tighten this up This one cut here. Oh yay! I'm very happy. I was a bit nervous that my layers would be all wonky, but I am pleased that they are not. I mean they're not perfect by no means. But they are pretty doggone good. Look at that. And the ball. <sighs> Got a little bit of white soap on the top. See there. 
I love it. Needs some cleaning up to do, of course. But I'm very happy with this cake. I mean, looks like my green layer messed up a little bit, but I'm okay with that. And my red layer down at the bottom. But I can live with that. I may try this again to sell in my shop. Um, you know, because this one is already sold. This whole cake. But, if you guys would be interested in me having some more cakes and stuff for sale, do let me know. Um, and I would be happy to make some cakes and cupcakes to sell with my listings. Yay! I have a little bit of drag marks right there. I have to clean up with my planer. I'm loving the simple uh, dollop on top. Really what I was going for. So I actually didn't make too much piping. I thought I did, but that's what I was going for. I wanted a dollop right here with the ball on top. And you know the ball matches the colors in the soap. Lots of lots of people have been going bananas over this soap. Um, about the design and the balls that I made and how I made the balls so I will be doing a tutorial for you guys on how I made the balls um, it was actually quite simple I just um, layered the melt and pour in the mold you know, sprayed with alcohol in between the layers and that was it. I used a pipette to add the layers. You just have to work fast. Um, and you have to be sure not to overheat your melt and pour because that will cause your melt and pour to sweat if it's overheated. So I just made sure I didn't overheat it. And, which because I did such small amounts I heated it for like 20 seconds in the microwave and that was it. So I'm super stoked with this soap. If you guys are wanting me to make a soap like this to uh, sell in my store, when I do my listings, please let me know and I can make one. And I also will do a tutorial for you guys on um, how I did the melt and pour balls. You guys seen how I did the cake. You know, it was a process, but wasn't too bad just have to prep everything but thank you all for watching um, all of the information you need is in the description box below about the video I always offer a free recipe in there there's links to my Facebook groups uh, one for be scented for fragrances and then one for uh, where I sell my soaps. There's a group. And also uh, gives a link to my new website. And I thank you all for watching. 
and I hope to see you on my next video.